One and a half million Iraqis are trying to build new lives for themselves in Syria, having fled from violence in Iraq. Only a small minority of Iraqi teenagers do attend school here. So what's the experience of those that do? We spoke to a group of student refugees chosen for us by the head teacher of Saida Fifth School. Officials from the Syrian ministries of education and information looked on. How did these young people feel having to leave home and come to another country? <laughs> When I came to Syria, I felt like a stranger. I felt like I left my country and it was peculiar. My situation is similar. When I first came to Syria, I felt very out of place and I missed my country. I didn't want to leave. We arrived here not long ago. We didn't want to leave. All my relatives are in Iraq. But because of this situation, we had to and leave everything behind. These teenagers have all been given school places in what we would think of as a primary school. Most children start here at age six and leave at the age of 12, but you can stay on until you're 16. Our teenagers have no choice but to study with younger children if they're to get the exams they need to go on to secondary school. Having been uprooted from their homes in Iraq, this group is typical of young Iraqis here. They've missed a lot of school. I skipped one year's school and I was very angry about it. Because of what's going on in Iraq, I had to stop school. I feel like I've wasted my years. I'm supposed to be in year eight. In class, I feel that all the other students are younger than me. Going on to year eight would have been better for me. I would have been with students the same age. I feel the same way, but what can we do? We had to leave school because of the situation. I also should have been in year eight. With government officials still in the room, we asked the group what they thought of the situation in Iraq. It's hard to know how typical their views are. We were very comfortable and felt safe before the war. When the Americans came, they caused problems in our country. Now there is no security in Baghdad. Nobody wants to go back to it. We are here for now, but once our residency permits run out, we will have to go back. When they arrived in Iraq, the Americans wanted our country and our country's wealth. They don't want Iraqis in an Iraqi country. They want it all to themselves. Saddam did nothing wrong. He was protecting our country. He did nothing wrong. It would be so much better if we could go back to our country, go back to our schools. That would be great. I hope that things will be safe again and that we can return to Iraq. Then we'll be able to go back to our work and our relatives. I hope for all these things, if God allows it. <laughs> 